Hi, I'm Bart Hansen, the owner and operator of CrushLivePoker.com. The following hand comes from our call-in show that we record at 4.45 p.m. Pacific Time every Monday. If you want to call in your hand, check out the phone number in the description. All right, let's go to 703. Oops, uh, let's see here. Caller in the 703, you are up next. Hi, Bart. Thanks for taking my call. Hi. Uh, so I have an 08 question, nice. actually. Who so is this? This is uh, My name's Drew. Drew. Is this a first-time caller? Yeah, first-time caller. Okay. Uh, so this is 1530-08 with a kill to 2040. And where is this at? Um, this uh, this is in Seattle. Okay. And uh, so this is the first time I played this game. Uh, I played with a couple of these players in a mixed game yep. and decided that I definitely wanted to play 153008 with them. So this is a one-third kill. Does that mean that the uh, scoop has – is it any – does it kill up to 2040 if anyone scoops or is there a dollar minimum? Uh, there's a dollar amount, but it's basically if anyone scoops. Because it's up. less because it's one. Now, that, that, this is how we actually play 75150 in Vegas too. To a 100, 200. Um, yeah. We play with a one third kill. Okay. Yep. So uh, the kill is on in the small blind. Uh, okay. I'm under the gun. Okay. Uh, I pick up ace of diamonds, ace of hearts, two of spades, ten of clubs. By the way, I know um, that so, I know that my uh, my graphics boy Pete is uh, watching this. This is going to be a great one that we're going to put up because I don't think we put up an 08 one for for YouTube. So. Ace of diamonds, ace of hearts, deuce of spades, ten of clubs. So that's a very good hand under the gun. That was my thinking. Yep. I raised it up, uh, especially kind of, you know, anytime the kill's on, yep. some players, especially maybe the nittier players, uh, might might fold out. Um, yep. And obviously, uh, aces, I want to get it as close to heads up as I can. Mm -hmm. um, oh, it's also, it's ten-handed, by the way. Oof. Um, okay. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so... Um, <laughs> Yeah, so it's, but it's still a pretty good game. Yeah. Uh, so I um, raise it up, get four callers, including the small blind. Uh, okay, so uh, four callers, what, three in the field, maybe in the small blind too? Yep. Okay. Um, so pretty standard, I was thinking at this point. Uh, flop comes out, four of clubs, five of clubs, five of diamonds. So I feel like that's a pretty good flop for me. I mean, it's not ideal, but... I've obviously got the nut low draw. I've got aces up. I'm feeling pretty good about it. Small it's blind it's check. four five five with two clubs. Is that right? Yep. Okay. I would probably check here because I mean my my reaction here is yeah yeah you've got the nut low draw and you do have a wheel draw. You don't mm -hmm. have any counterfeit protection and with this many people in the hand, someone there's a very high chance someone's going to have a five, and you're going to get raised. And I think that, okay. I mean, have have you watched any of, it, it's a real, I mean, if you play 1530, uh, Drew, yeah. you should watch all yeah. of my videos that I just did on Stone. I just did 10 Stones 08 videos, and I went over every single 816 hand. Every single I one that was played. eight of them so far. Yeah, yeah. And, um, They're really good. This is a situation where if you check, almost no one is going to bet unless they have a five. Or they've got mm -hmm. like the nut flush draw and ace deuce. So mm -hmm. if you check and it gets checked through, that's not a terrible thing. And then if the small blind checks, then you bet. You know what I'm saying? Okay. That I mean, that's how I would approach it. Because you're going to get raised okay. by a five here. And you also kind of... You, it's, it's a, you have a medium strength hand here. So you kind, of, mm -hmm. you kind of hide the value of your hand. Even if you check and someone bets, you can check call. And then let's say the turn is like a high brick and it goes check, check. Well, now you know you have the best hand. And I didn't see anybody go really for like three barrels with a total air ball bluff. You know, like if you check called flop, check called turn, and it ran out high blank, high blank, and the guy bet the river, you might be forced to call because it's limit, but it, it really depends on the player. You know what I mean? You know some guys are okay. just never going to run that bluff. Yes. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For sure. <laughs> Um, well, so I ended up betting. Uh, I okay. kind of felt like my hand was still pretty strong. Yep. I bet I got three callers. Um, so, so you so you bet, and then three mm -hmm. did the small blind call or the three people uh, the called the field? The small blind did call. So two, two callers two in the field, and the mm -hmm. small blind called. Yep. Okay. Now, the thing about low stakes 08, though, is that that doesn't necessarily mean that someone doesn't have a five here. Someone could be playing a five yeah. slow. 
You know what I mean? Yeah. Like they could have – you would think that someone would raise with a full house, but someone might have like ace, five, six, king or something. Actually, I don't know. Um, actually, this might actually be indicative that someone doesn't have a five. I, I'd have, it's really weird that you got three calls because you've got two of the aces. So yeah. there aren't a ton of people with low draws, but you don't have the ace of clubs. So there's going to be all kinds of flush draws out here. I'd feel more comfortable with two people calling, but I have seen people – like flop a gin high hand here, like say flop quad fives, flop like five yeah. four, and they're waiting on the turn to raise to drive people out. I've definitely seen that. Yeah, I I really when I got three callers, I was kind of like, okay, well that's that can't possibly be good. Yeah. Um, but I also feel like I I have a ton of equity in the hand. Yeah. So I'm not super worried about it, but obviously I didn't think I was ahead. Yeah. Um. So the turn peels off the seven of hearts. Uh huh which is great for me because I'm like, okay, well, I've got a quarter of the pot at least, hopefully. Yeah, I mean, um, you probably fair to have... I, I, I would be very surprised if you're going to win the high here now that a straight comes yeah. in, but you do have the nut low and there's four people in the pot, so it's not a absolute disaster. We think that someone doesn't have a five, so I don't hate a bet here with ace-ace-deuce because you've got two of the aces. Yeah, so the small blind checked again, uh -huh. and I bet again, thinking, you know, look, I got half the pot. There are yep. four people in the hand. Mm -hmm. Somebody here probably has a worse low. Um, you know, somebody's probably got the straight two, so I'm not winning the high half, but mm -hmm. let's let's try and get three callers, you know, two callers, so, you know, I'm chopping up somebody's money. That was kind of my thinking. Um, so, yeah, I, I bet, yep. and I got the same three people called, so. Okay. So, you know, so I like, would right, say well, right now, I mean, I would say right now that, Boy, like you fair to it's probably pretty close whether or not you have half or a quarter or sometimes three quarters here. It's gonna obviously yeah. depend on the river, but nobody's shown any aggression, which is kind of interesting. Yeah, well and that's so when I got three calls, I was like I said, I was looking to have two people call. That was sort of my because there was one guy, the the small blind actually, like just kind of looking at him. I had a feeling like he might have hit the straight. Like I just kind of had that, like you know, right? Because if somebody has like if, if someone has like a six three here, they're not they're all they're going to do is check call, especially when you bet again, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So like I just kind of had that like he has the high lock yeah. feel coming off of him. So I'm like, all right, well, okay, I want one of those two other guys at the end of the table to call. When both of them call, I'm like, oh, well, that maybe I'm getting quartered here. I, you know, I, I was planning to check the river if a blank peeled off, mm -hmm. you know, I don't know. Um, so the river pulls off the five of hearts. The five is, of hearts. Think, All right. So this is an Omaha hand for you guys. So you've got, you only lose to pocket sevens or quad fives right now because yep. it's four, so, five, five. So you've got like a really, really strong hand. You now beat yeah. the straights and you've got the, so you have the nut low and one of, and basically the second top full house that you can have. Yeah, I, so I was I yeah. saw that and I was like, well, that's a miracle. That's and we didn't think that anybody had a five anyways because no one had been raising yeah. the entire time either, right? So yeah, exactly. No yeah. one's raising, so I don't think anyone has a five. And you know what? If they do, yeah, Mazel tov. good yeah. for them. Mm -hmm. um, so uh, so again, I I bet out. Um, I get called again by two people, uh, and the the guy in the uh, small blind had the straight. And somebody else had a naked ace deuce at the other end of the table, so I got three quarters. So okay, but I I, I felt like I played it right, but I'm not super experienced at 08. I just you know I know I've watched your videos and I know a little bit about it, and I saw some players in the game I really wanted to play with. So I think that the the only thing that you did wrong was probably mm -hmm. check. I would probably check the flop against three people in this spot. Now, if you're playing very very high stakes. I might, if I had bet the, um, I'm just trying to think, like, I might see if I check the flop at high stakes, it might be different, but if I somehow bet the flop at high stakes and everyone called and the turn was a seven, I might actually check the turn for other reasons because I actually want to make it look like I don't have the nut low. And I feel like if I'm playing 100, 200, there's just no way that against four people, unless the game's totally off the hook, that I'm going to be, yeah. you know, getting, but, but, but at 1530, yeah, that's fine. All right. Yeah. All right, so cool. All right. Thanks. All right, well, thanks very much. You got it. Thanks for the call. Hey guys, if you like what you've seen here, please click on the subscribe button and you'll get notified every time we put up a new video. And if you want to check out crushlivepoker.com for the first month free, use the code YTA100. Click on the link right there.